What's going on guys, Josh here, and in this video, we're gonna go through exactly how I would go about building out a Facebook ad account if I was to start again, just spending about $50 a day. Now that equates to about $1,500 worth of ad spend over the month, and when you're just trying to validate you know, your product choice or your whether there's a product market fit, this is more than enough to get started. So if you guys are new here to the channel, just wanted to welcome you. I'm Josh and I am a seven figure entrepreneur who loves all things e-commerce, productivity and personal finance. So sit back, relax, Take a lot of notes and let's get straight into this one, guys. So before we get started, just wanted to introduce you guys to a few terms when it comes to spending money on Facebook. Now we're gonna have two campaigns, right? We're gonna have your prospecting campaigns and your retargeting campaigns. Now, prospecting campaigns is pretty much just finding audiences or customers that have never ever heard about your brand, they don't know about the problem your product actually solves, they're not aware, problem aware or product aware. These are just people who are just completely cold. And we're gonna be spending a lot of time and a lot of money um, in terms of percentage um, here because we want to get as many people into your marketing funnel as possible now on the second hand we're going to be focusing on retargeting audiences right this is people who have you know uh, watched a video of yours they've jumped onto your product page or they've just seen your ad and maybe liked it on Facebook right so what we're going to be doing is when in marketing in general e-commerce you need to have several touch points it's something about like five to six uh, touch points generally until your customer converts now what that touch point means Means is every single time they see an ad they receive an email from you receive an SMS from you or just hear someone else talking about your product or brand right okay now that you know the difference between your prospecting campaigns and your retargeting campaigns what we're going to need to do is gather a few things before we go ahead and build out our Facebook ads campaigns we're going to need our ad creatives our ad headlines our ad copy and also understand our KPIs. So I will link in the description below a spreadsheet that helps you calculate your KPIs that helps you understand when to start to scale or when to start to turn off ads because they're overspending or not getting you the, the results that are profitable, right? Now, really quickly, I will go through um, three different types of ads that we use in our business. And uh, this is just the first one, uh, just a standard photo, like, a branded photo shoot of just the product. Nothing too crazy. A uh, second one is a value prop overlay where it's just the, your product image and you just get your graphic designers to overlay the value propositions of you know what your product actually does, what it, the problems it solves, all those kinds of things, and just presents it in a nice on-brand kind of way. The third is just a video of UGC. This one is super, super simple in my opinion. Um, it's very you know, impactful, it plays on human psychology and really gets that message across by showing another human being using and benefiting from your product. So I will link these three examples down in the description below as well, just so you guys can go ahead and copy them or emulate them or get some ideas from them. Okay, so now that we have all of those in order, we're gonna jump straight into my ads manager and start building out these campaigns. What we wanna do is go ahead and click on this big green button, which is the create, right? hit conversions because we always want to go for conversions. If anyone tells you to go for engagement or traffic or all these kinds of other things, when it comes to e-commerce, it's not really, <laughs> it doesn't work. I've tested this plenty of times before and it used to be a strategy, an old strategy that Gabriel St. Germain, he, he had that um, and he made it big, but it just doesn't work so much anymore, right? So we just go straight for conversions. Now open this up and let's go through our naming conventions. Now, I always start with one. Now, one is our cold audiences. Like I said at the beginning of this video, cold audiences are people who have never heard of your brand or they're not problem aware. And these are the people that we wanna put in here. Then I start with phase one because we're doing audience testing. I have my phase one, two, and three. And that's a shout out to my mentor, uh, Deepesh. And he's just taught me uh, so much when it comes to this stuff and I hope that um, you guys learn from it too. So phase one is our audience testing. Then we have our geographic location, which is our US. Then we have uh, website conversion. So the optimized events that we're, this campaign is optimized for. Then we're gonna have interests, right? Because at the beginning, when you're getting started, you're not going to have enough data to create lookalike audiences. So I always recommend to start off with interests and I'll prove why this works perfectly, right? You don't need to worry about lookalikes. And uh, after that, you wanna set what kind of budget optimization you have. So the ABO is ad set budget optimization. The reason why we wanna go for that is because we wanna have more control over wh where we're spending our 
our money. With CBOs, Facebook likes to preferentially spend, so they'll prefer to spend some money on this ad set um, more than this other one and kind of skew the results. Especially when we're testing, that's not really ideal. The last part is one day click. Uh, this is kind of unanimous over most media buyers right now with the whole iOS 14. You want to find customers who are clicking into your ad on that day, right? And you just with the attribution issues, we just prefer to go one day click. So continue and uh, everything looks good here, right? Just hit next, make sure this is ticked off. Next. Now, this is the ad set, right? This is where we want to set our interests. Now, for the purpose of this example, I will use uh, something like teeth whitening, right? Like so. And I will spend something like $20, right? Um, make sure the start date, depending on the time zone of your ad account, I like to spend, if, if you're just targeting US like I am here, I like to set it at about 5 a.m. Eastern time, right? Just something so that Facebook doesn't start to show your ads from midnight and those people who are just on their phones at nighttime in bed, those are the type of people that aren't going to buy anyway, so I like to start it at 5 a.m. So and, and it's up to you, you can test both, but 5 a.m. works better for me. Now, when we go down here, we wanna change our location to United States. Age, just leave it open. Genders, just leave it open. And detailed targeting expansion. I like to actually tick this off because Facebook will actually go out further from your interests that you've chosen, right? And find you conversions. Now that's great and all, but I would like to prefer to test my interest, my specific audience, and only test that audience, right? I don't want Facebook to go out and get me new purchases from outside that audience because then it kind of skews the test results, right? You're not, you can't be confident that this audience itself is getting you all of the purchases, right? So it's just tick that off and you can test it yourself, but generally when testing, I'm just leaving it off right now. We're gonna, we did teeth whitening, so we just wanna go here, right? Now obviously <laughs> it doesn't, let's go teeth, right? Let's just go white teeth, right? Let's just make it a little bit easier. Now let me go up and edit this thing, right? White teeth. Now. What we wanna do is, um, with the placements, I always like to just uh, focus on the feeds, right? When it comes, and just let's just click all of this off. All of this off. Because uh, generally speaking, um, I found most of the, if you leave it all on, it's just going to start spending in, inefficiently, and it's gonna put it in you know, different placements that aren't gonna get you any conversions. You can test this later, but for me, at the testing cycle, just when we have such little ad spend, I wanna make sure that it only shows to the best audiences. Down here, what we wanna do is go show more options and have a look, here, leave it all the same. Now, attribution setting. This is where I wanna change it to one day click. When you get charged, uh, delivery type, all of that kinds of stuff, uh, cost controls, don't worry about that. It, it's fine, everything's fine here, right? So this one's good. Then have your ads in, uh, in this ad set and generally, now you wanna have your ads in this ad set, right? Now, when you go ahead and create these ads, I, wanna, I want you guys to make sure that you use your post IDs, right? Because the learning is held on the actual ad itself. So if you have your existing post, and let me just show you what that means. If you go ahead and hit existing post, guys, it's going to use the ads that have been created in the past, all right? So do that, and then um, generally I like to have three different ads when I'm testing. So quickly duplicate one more time. So we're gonna have three different ads, okay? So once you're at this stage, you wanna go ahead and just hit publish. Okay, so we had a few issues because these aren't completed, right? But that's okay. For the purposes of this, it's okay. Now I'm gonna turn these off just so we make sure that nothing is spending, all right? Okay. Okay, so now that you've got your first ad set gone and created, what we wanna go ahead and do is just quickly duplicate it out, right? So we're gonna duplicate it once and you're gonna be spending $20 per ad set. So this is your $40 right here. With the interest, if you can't think of it too much, guys, don't worry too much. Go ahead and have don't go down to your detail targeting. Now, when you get to this point, you're gonna have your suggestions button right here. Go ahead and um, hit suggestions and then just choose any that are relatable, right? Related to your first one. So toothbrushing, right, for example. Now go ahead and do that. Turn off detail targeting expansion. 
Everything else will be exactly the same provided you did it correctly the first time. So if you need to go back and follow along with this video, that's fine. Let's just hit publish and it's gonna give us three errors because of the ads. Don't worry too much. You won't get this error. And if you do, you can just go ahead and follow the prompts and it'll help fix it all up. So we're gonna turn that off just while this works and it's gonna give us some errors. Yep, good. So we're gonna turn uh, these things right here, right? Okay, so now that you have two ad sets set up here, you're spending $20 per day, that's $40, uh, $40 per day. What we wanna do is let this run for about two, three days because with the whole iOS 14 thing, there is delayed attributions and that's a big, big problem right now. Even if you have conversions API set up, and if you don't know what that means, guys, I'm gonna link a video for you right here where I go through the whole Facebook ad setup. We're gonna let it run and then just come back after two, three days and review the results. Okay, so now that that's done, what we wanna go ahead and do is build down our retargeting campaign. I will say that at the beginning, when you're spending about $40 per day, depending on your CPMs and whatnot, you're not going to have enough seed data for your retargeting audiences to start or your retargeting campaigns to start spending. But it is good practice just to have it set up so that when the audience size gets large enough, and Facebook can actually find those audiences, it can start spending a little bit per day. Let's go ahead and we're gonna to need to jump into, first of all, audiences, right? Because I'm gonna show you how to create these retargeting audiences. Now, go ahead here and then hit custom, create custom audience, okay? Now, what I want you to do as the do is go ahead and do Facebook page and we're gonna just choose any store everyone who has engaged with your page in the last 365 days. Now what you wanna call this is Facebook, you know, engaged with 365 days. Okay, create that, create that audience. Okay, now go ahead, hit this blue button again, create audience, custom audience again, right? And now what we're going to be doing is we're gonna go back and go to Instagram business profile. Okay, so now that you got, uh, you're in this one, guys, you want to have everyone engaged with your business in the 365 days. Now, with the name, you want to hit IG for Instagram, um, engaged with 365 days. We just want to name that audience so we know what we're going with. So now that that's created. Okay, so now the last um, retargeting audience that we want to go ahead and create, guys, is create your audience, custom audience, website, next, right? And then what we're going to have is your website visitors and then 180 days, right? But we wanna make broaden out this audience as much as possible because we want that larger audience and then play around with it first, right? Give Facebook as many people as possible to find the best people that are going to convert, the most people that are going to convert, right? So 180 days is the maximum. If you do 181, it just will give you an error, so let's hit 180. So website visitors, 180 days. Okay, so now that that's done, now that we're going back into our ads manager here, we wanna go ahead and create our retargeting campaigns. Now hit create, right? Conversions again. Hit number two for your retargeting, right? And let's just call it retargeting for now. Um, we want US you know, website conversion again, and then that's one day click. Uh, we can do CBO for this one, right? Because we just want Facebook to find the, you know, we want to give them as much control as possible for this to find us the best audiences uh, or the best people that are going to convert into a purchase. Then I'll hit OK. OK, so that's our retargeting. Now that we have this, uh, we want to go ahead and hit CBO on, right? Just go ahead and turn on, uh, just set it at $10 per day. Don't worry too much right now because it is low spend. We can always increase these budgets later down the track. Now with your ad set, what we want is all engages, engages, and this one we want 365 days. So this is going to be your Facebook plus your IG. Again, next day, guys, we want to have at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay. Now, with when it comes to here, locations, you want to set, make sure it's set to United States again or whatever country that you're targeting to. But this is where we select our audiences. Now, what you want to do is hit custom audience right now and you're gonna see your IG engaged 365 days, what we created just then, right? And then again, add your Facebook engaged as well. So this is going to pre create all the people who have engaged with your, pay, uh, in, with your IG, uh, your Instagram and your Facebook page over the last 365 days. 
Now go down. Now at this point, you are okay to leave detailed targeting expansion on because we just want to get as many people back into our funnel as possible, right? And, but when it comes to adding interests, leave that off, right? And just leave it completely blank. It's fine. Age, gender, just leave it as a default, no problem at all. Generally with retargeting, you can leave it an auto as well, right? But what we want to go ahead and do is for attribution setting, we want to go for one day click. Okay, so now with these ads, the ads in these ad sets, you can just duplicate the ones that you have in your prospecting campaigns. You know, you can just throw them back into here. So later down the track, as you spend more money, what you're gonna wanna do is create more ads specifically targeted to people who have previously engaged with your thing. So whether you offer a discount, um, have some scarcity in there, all those kinds of things, right? Or just show other testimonials. Yeah, um, show them that other people are enjoying your product and they, they should also give your product a chance. Now we're going to hit close, right? And then we're going to duplicate this out because we, we do have that other audience, right? So duplicate, duplicate once more. For this one, we want um, website visitors, 180 days, 180 days. Okay. So everything should be the exact same. Just click these off. And then when you hit custom audiences, go to custom audience again, website visitors, 180 days. Okay. So everything should be the exact same because we've just simply duplicated and that's it, okay? Now now that that's done, we just wanna go ahead and hit publish for both of them, right? And it's gonna say that it's not published because the ads aren't there, which is fine. Um, let's go ahead and publish this too, okay? Awesome. Now, this is the structure, guys. Um, at this point, you're spending $40 for these two here um, for your prospecting campaigns, right? These ones here. And that's these two, right? $40. And that's going to then leave you $10 for your retargeting. Now, don't be too alarmed if these this campaign isn't spending any money when you start out. What happens is when you set up retargeting campaigns, these are just custom audiences that your pixel is collecting. Now, sometimes if your audience isn't large enough and you're just getting started, Facebook just can't find those audiences for you. Therefore, it won't charge you or show ads. So with that being said, you can just leave it, but you like to, I like to set it up because when it's ready, we can start showing these ads to those audiences who have previously engaged with us or gone onto our page. So let me just show you guys how this kind of works and um, show you an example of how this works for me, right? So the story behind this is one of my ad accounts got disabled, right? Our big ad account got disabled and I was like, oh gosh, like this is just not gonna work, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we didn't wanna stop there. We set up the exact same thing. So you can see here per day, budget per day, $20 right there, right? And then we were getting purchases like crazy guys. You can see here in our website, ROAS, we're getting like five, 7.8, 4.6, 5.1, and 1.8. So as you can see here, guys, there are two ad sets right down here that are turned off, and that's because they, based on my KPIs, they just weren't performing. So in my, in a video in the future, I will go ahead and talk about how you can go and decide, make these key decisions to whether to leave things on or turn things off to preserve your ad spend. Okay guys, so that is all the time that we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one because this is exactly how I would set up my Facebook ads account if everything went down and I had to start again spending only $50 or $1,500 per month. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know exactly when um, my next video will drop. And I will also link my video right here that helps you to set up your Facebook ad account so that it's protected from the iOS 14 updates that are coming, guys. So I hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.